hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make a wagon sauce in under 30 minutes so i'm going to be making use of these grinded pepper seed flakes it is grinded i'm going to drop a picture there so you can see this is exactly what it looks like before it was grinded at the market i grinded it at the market that's why i couldn't show you so i just added it in a bowl and i added some water to it to form a thick paste moving forward so we are going to add some palm oil into our pan and then we are going to proceed to fry our ejakika and some pomo please note that when you want to make a wagon sauce you need lots of palm oil to make a wagon sauce so we added our onions allowing that to fry for some minutes before proceeding to add our pepper mix that we've already mixed with water we are going to stir that and we are going to allow it to fry for some minutes then we're going to proceed to season it with some seasoning powder and some salt and then we'll allow it to fry for some minutes. Frying a wagon sauce requires lots of patience and lots of attention. This is after almost 15 to 20 minutes that it has been frying. So I decided to add my fish and pomo at this point so it can soak up a little bit of the oil. And at this point, it was already looking dry. I needed to add some more palm oil, which I did. After adding some extra palm oil, so I covered and I allowed it to cook for extra 5 minutes till I got the consistency that I wanted. If I wanted it to be more dried and more crispy than this, I, I would have left it on the fire for a longer time, but this is exactly how I like the consistency. While wanting to make it more crispier than this, you might want to leave it on the fire and just step away for some minutes, but that is not advisable as this can make it get burnt and you don't want that. There you have it guys, our Ewagoin sauce is ready. So guys, if this is your first time coming across my page, please do not make it your last by clicking on the subscribe button and also turning on post notifications so as to get notified when next I drop a video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!